Let's look at a system where we take copper metal and immerse it in sulfuric acid solution. What do you think will form? Copper ions, hydrogen gas, or will there be no reaction? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at a possible explanation for each answer. A, acids dissolve most metals, so copper ions should form. B, hydrogen gas is evolved in sulfuric acid battery reactions. Or C, H plus and copper solid are stable together in solution, so nothing forms. Think about those three and make a selection. We're talking about immersing some copper metal in sulfuric acid solution. So we want to know what is the more stable state, copper ions, hydrogen gas, or will no reaction occur? Well, we should go back to our table of standard reduction potentials, and I'll reproduce a, a bit of that table here. This table says that the reaction of copper ions to form copper metal has higher potential, is favored over hydrogen ions forming hydrogen gas. So the favored state is copper metal over hydrogen gas. And in fact, this half cell would effectively cause the hydrogen half cell to run in reverse. The overall reaction when copper metal is brought in contact with hydrogen ions can be written like this copper ions and hydrogen gas naturally form copper metal and hydrogen ions. So essentially, we're already at the favored state. We're at the product state already, copper metal and hydrogen ions. So this reaction will not proceed any further. The free energy difference here is negative. K is greater than 1. The products are favored. And the products are essentially where we started here. When you take copper metal, immerse it in sulfuric acid, one molar, there's no reaction. The correct answer here, nothing happens.